Op4 TV. You are now rocking with Black History Every Day, Women's History Month edition. Today, I got two gentlemen with me. My man Tay, what up? Yo, what's happening? What's going on? Tell us where you're from, what you got going on. Hey, man, I'm from, uh, from Delaware, Wilmington, Delaware, you know, Chocolate City. Uh, okay. but, uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, I, uh, we got a little, um, got a little podcast going on called Yam yeah, Saying Podcast. Um, yeah. it's mainly on YouTube right now. You know, it's, uh, you know, mainly we talk about black politics, black culture, black history, and we kind of tie it all together, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to, uh, current events and things that's going on, on, on today, man. And, and, uh, and of course, man, I'm trying to find ways to, uh, volunteer in my community. You know what I'm saying? Most mm-hmm. definitely trying to uh, volunteer, um, speaking to uh, young young men uh, down at the middle school uh, here. Nice. Uh, nice. And uh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. It, man. Also, we got here the guy y'all love to hate. The, uh, <laughs> the Korean killer. The young assassin straight out of Clarksville. <laughs> y'all know who he is, my man Herm, a.k.a. Skip. <laughs> What's good, big homie? How you feel? What's going on, bro? I'm uh, I'm big. I'm uh, Bill's big brother. You know what I'm saying? I taught him the ropes and everything. Made sure people didn't bully him back when he was kids, man. What ropes you taught me? Tell me about the ropes you taught me. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me do the introduction, man. Let me get my. You know what I'm saying? So I'm Herman. You know I'm a uh, part of the Lions Den with Seth, Seth's podcast. Yes, we sir. We talk about professional development, leadership, and growth with the call to action. Uh, we come on every Sunday uh, live on Facebook. If you want to follow follow us there, Lions Den with Seth, um, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check us out. Uh, this week, we, this, this week we have somebody. Huh, what's that? Y'all got great content, man. Man, I, I appreciate it, brother. This week we have somebody coming on to talk about uh, the game of chess and how it applies to life. You know, it's going to be yeah. an interesting show. Uh, like Bill said, I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee. And I'm happy to be here, man. I'm I'm thankful that you asked me to do this, Bill. Hey, I'm thankful for you for come, accepting the offer and coming on. And you uh, introduced me to Tay, yo, good brother from Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah. Again, he calls it Chocolate City. The rest of the world I, doesn't even know. I, I never heard you just that. Know that's a stop off of I-95. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> I never heard that in my life. I like Chocolate City. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we just know for the rest of us, we know we get off of 95. And, hey, it's a good place to go use the bathroom. <laughs> it's good to use the bathroom and roll out. Yeah, they got clean I, bathrooms in Wilmington, go. Delaware. That's all yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is about to be an educational show because I just learned that. So. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Y'all already know the deal. It's Jeopardy. We got we a little we a little hood with this. Today we're doing all black women politicians. All right. We got some of them from the, the new school, moderately old school, and then the straight old school. Um, I'm gonna lead us off with the new school 100 Stacey Abrams question. I'm gonna set it off here. The winner of this question, you got control of board, you go where you want to go. Let's do it. Stacey Abrams founded Blank, an organization to address voter suppression in 2018. Fair fight, fair fight organization. Ooh. Fair, fair fight action, man. There we go. Fair fight action. That was yeah. the Tay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see. I can't see. My phone's mad small and my eyes ain't good. I used to be in the military. All right. We are on the board 100, the fair fight action. Fair fight action, uh, she she still changes it up a little bit nowadays, you know, ever since she mm. lost the uh, gubernatorial race. And mm. there are fact checkers from like the Washington Post and the New York Times who said that technically, yeah, yeah, by the numbers, she lost that uh race by fifty three thousand votes. But because um Governor Kemp illegally dismissed so many um over a million votes. Right, that she technically won that election, and she should. Yeah, she would have won it. She would have won the election, right? Yeah, she would have. She, uh, herself. yeah, just a just a few months ago, she was in uh Nigeria, I believe, helping them uh to get the young voter uh turnout over there, uh helping them over there. So yeah, man, that's crazy, yeah. yo. This black yeah. woman is just yeah, man. Face of the beach, herself into like the face of voting. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take a, an advantage away from her, man. I'm gonna go Condi Rice, two hundred. <laughs> Two hundred. Talk about we playing hard. <laughs> Colin Powell and Miss Rice were the only highest, were the highest ranking African Americans in the history of the federal executive branch. Oh dang! 
โอโอแบบนี้ This is the first. No one has ever I've ever asked to do this、um, program. No one has ever said, "Hey, I want to hear some questions about with somebody." No one's ever done that. He said, "I want to hear.、Bro. You got to throw Condi Rice in there." Bro, I, I think that she's very underappreciated with, for what she has done. You know what I mean? Tell me more. And, well, you know, to think about everything that she's accomplished, where she's come from, and what she's still doing, I don't feel like she's talked about enough. You know, I don't know if it's because of her political party. Or what it is, but when you look past that and see her story for real, it, man, you gotta respect it. You know what I mean? Even now, you know what I mean? At, at what, what she's doing at the college, it's like, man, it's, this lady keeps moving on and keeps trucking. You know what I mean?、It's, more、yeah. people should follow that path and look at her as a success story instead of you know somebody you know to just dismiss so easily. It's hard when you come from that Bush campaign, yo. I see. I don't、yeah. think that. I don't think it should, though. You know, what I mean, even like Colin Powell. You know, it's like, man, these are some smart black people. You know what I mean? They, they, they weren't doorsteps or no footstools or anything like that. These were strong black people. Well, you know, absolutely great views, in my opinion. I feel you. I feel you. I'm rocking with you. Hey, the board is yours. What you doing? You up by a hundred? What we doing? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Stacey Abrams for two hundred. Two hundred is already taken. No. You, Stacey Abrams, Stacey Abrams for two. Oh, Stacey, Stacey Abrams, as you were,、yeah. as 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 you were. Let's keep it going. Stacey Abrams wrote eight fiction books under the name blank. Selena Montgomery. Ooh, man, Tay studied up. Yeah, there we go. Man, Tay studied up. There we go. I like when, when I saw when I saw Stacey Abrams. I knew Tay was gonna clean house with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You know what I mean? Hey, I, hey, I didn't know about the 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 fictional、uh, the fiction. I knew she wrote fiction books. I didn't know she wrote she wrote under that、uh, pseudonym.、Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I I didn't know she wrote she wrote books though. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah she's a very talented woman, and I feel like in a lot of ways she's underappreciated. You know, I understand、oh, what Herman is saying about Condoleezza、so. Rice, but、um, very, yeah. I mean, think about、mm-hmm. even what the, the what the current president owes to her. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I I feel without, but I, without her, he doesn't have this. He doesn't. He doesn't beat Trump in this election. Absolutely. I、vote. mean, the way、yeah. the way she was able to help galvanize votes in Georgia to show, you know, what I'm saying that they still can get the votes. Yeah. Turn you know, blue, turn the red state blue. Yeah, and, but see, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I think she gets the credit for that. So I think that she is appreciated. Even though she didn't get elected, you know what I'm saying. Within the black community, I mean, it's hard for me to find anybody that's not fans of her. You know,、yeah. am I wrong?、Mm-hmm. No. Well, yeah, no. I, I think that sometimes it depends on if you if you talk to some certain black men. You know, just yeah, being yeah. honest.、True. You know, there are black there are black men who are you know who don't like women leadership. That's just let's just call it a thing a thing. You know what I mean? Most of us been to church. We know how that is. So you know, <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, but but I think I think generally overall, you know, when you hear that when people hear the name Stacey Abrams, you know, what I'm saying it's it's general、uh, appreciation、respect. for what she did. Yeah, yeah. it's respect. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Big Tay, the board is yours. What are we doing? Yeah, man, I'm gonna go、uh, Shirley Chisholm for a hundred. Ooh, what y'all know about Shirley Chisholm?、Yeah. Miss Chisholm is the first black woman elected to this position. United States Congress. Ooh. Hmm. He's creating separation. I see. A man is yeah, creating US, separation. US Congress, yeah, yeah. Third Chisholm. She was the first, also the first woman. Well, not the first woman to run for president. There was another woman. No, oh,、uh, that was. No,、nah, that was、uh, about 1950. That was.、Uh, that was.、Uh, oh my gosh, she ran at the Communist Party.、Uh, Communist Party、uh, candidate. I can't remember her name. Charlene Mitchell. Charlene Mitchell. That was her name. Yeah, yeah Charlene Mitchell, Mitchell she ran. Yeah, first black woman to run for president, and、um, for yeah, very. But she、yeah. and she hit and she、uh, won the Democratic nomination as well. So we got to yeah,、uh, she did. Okay, yeah, we got、yeah. we got to give her credit. That's and that, and and during that time, come on, that's really really like really unprecedented. Yeah, yeah, you know she、saying? was a、uh, family of immigrants too. Her family comes from like the yeah.、Caribbean. From the Caribbean, yeah, yeah, she came up from the Caribbean, and she, uh, um, yeah, man, and, and she came up during a during a crazy time during uh, 
1972, when she was trying to run the, uh, uh, we had the National Black Political Convention, which was, which was actually trying to start a, uh, get a uh, black voting block during 1972. Yeah, so so she got upset with the people that was there because they wouldn't uh, support her, you know, uh, a lot of them that wouldn't support her there. But, yeah. Yeah. Born and raised in Clarksville, too, you know that? Oh, really? I didn't know that. No, she wasn't. No, I'm not. Oh, I would have like, known that. <laughs> 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 Yo, Clarksville people always want to claim somebody from Clarksville, boy. Y'all gotta relax. Like who? <laughs> Y'all gotta relax. Do we claim yeah. who's from there? From there, Sean Marion is from Chicago. Now he's from Clarksville. <laughs> Tom Marion been there since middle school. Come on now, <laughs> he's from Chicago. Yeah, right. Say the board is yours. Uh, I'm gonna go Condi Rice for three hundred. <laughs> In 1986, Miss Rice was appointed special assistant to the director on the G Joint Chiefs of Staff to work on the nuclear planning strategy. Oh man! Whoa. Strategic planning. Here you go. This is the you know what I'm saying? Game. This is like tennis right here. How smart mm -hmm. do you have to be to be able to do some stuff like that, man? Uh, nuclear strategic I'm planning. Yeah. Not that smart. My cousin Kathleen, she did that. She's like, <laughs> man, please. Man. <laughs> Yeah, your cousin's <laughs> smart now. She's from Brooklyn. She steals. <laughs> <laughs> no respect, dog. Come on. People <laughs> from Brooklyn steal. I'm not lying. All right. <laughs> Let's go Shirley Chisholm 300. All right. In 2015, Miss Chisholm was posthumously, I can never say that word, posthumously awarded the National. Uh, Freedom, uh, freedom. Uh, dang, what was that called? The Presidential Medal. Presidential Medal of Freedom. Yeah. Who gets that? Both saying at the same time. I oh, no, no, he I said, I said. I said the Freedom, the Freedom Award. <laughs> I said the Freedom Award. <laughs> what are we doing, y'all? Y'all both said at the same time. You, the, you know. Nah, you, you give it to her. You give it. Wait, wait, he, 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 he actually said nah, the whole nah, thing. Give it to Tay, man. Said, uh, he said, oh he said, yeah, now y'all want to be nice guys. We don't have nice guys <laughs> in this program. We don't do that nice guy nonsense over here. You know? I'm going to start recording with everybody in the same room so we can get a fight going. So I'll get my, I'll get my hey, views. Nah, man. That's that's what what they want hey, to see black people fight, on, they yeah, see yeah, black yeah, fight yeah, amongst yeah. each other. And act, we yeah, 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 yeah we're too close to Juneteenth for that, man. <laughs> yo, yo, I, I need both of y'all to invite me on y'all podcast to, to talk about uh Juneteenth, man. That, that, oh, I for that's, sure. That's, that's definitely my lane, you know what I'm saying? I oh, yeah, yeah. Talk about okay. some Juneteenth, oh. you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, Did y'all even talk about Juneteenth, like Juneteenth. Y last year? Because right, how long y'all been rolling now at the Lions then? Going on four years. Yeah, we did talk. We had a, we had mm -hmm. we've had a Juneteenth conversation with a person that was organized and planned the uh, Juneteenth event here in Clarksville. Uh -huh. Yeah, and Seth he also put on a Juneteenth event in uh in Illinois. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that's what we normally get. Uh, somebody is hosting the event to come on and talk about you know the the planning strategy and why they put it on and what it means. For the city and whatnot, you know, because Clarksville, I mean, we do it now. People, it's a people getting off, and you know, you still hear the rumblings like, "Why is this a holiday?" You know, because Clarksville also celebrates, you know, August August eighth. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? I think you know, so it, it's different. You know what I mean? Like we never really day. celebrated Juneteenth here. What's, we what's celebrated August something else, huh? What's August eighth? Uh, I mean, we we call it a, we call it some other day. You know what I mean? It, it's just when we recognize the same thing Juneteenth it meant, means. Oh, okay. You know, but you know, I yeah, don't get me to quote the, don't get me to quote the history behind it. I just knew that that was the day I went to all the cookouts and all that stuff. So nice. That's what I loved about Clarksville. It was a small community, but it was it's a. I ain't want nobody no points for that one, y'all. Y'all just a stalemate. It was a small <laughs> community, but it was um. The black people there, you know, they they they. Semi, everyone semi rock with each other. It wasn't like all love, you know. People, I could sit in and think back because it was twenty five years ago. Oh, it was all love. It wasn't all love. Yeah, but we was pretty diverse, <laughs> especially on our side of town. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you know, yeah. 
we had white guys that was real cool with us. All you know, what I'm saying yeah, all kind of. What up, boy? We, you know, what I'm saying it was like in in where we grew, where we was at. It was like the mixed kid capital. Everybody was mixed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, you know, I'm 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 a director for our, our local co uh, community center, the community center where I used to dunk on Bill at. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> called a cleaner. Man, ain't nothing but about nothing but mixed kids in there all day long. Mm. I can imagine more so now than it was back then. Yeah, it was crazy, man. But it's and it was crazy going to even for me as a I was eighteen when I got there and see that walk into that environment coming from New York. New York, we all mixed people. Mm, everybody's black or Caribbean in some way, shape, or form. So it's like we don't really do like it's not really considered like even like a Hispanic community for real. It's just. <clears throat> It's just it's all just different. Like one. Yeah, it's different. It's all one community. You know what I mean? So in New York, I was the mixed kid, and I'm not mixed. Yeah. <laughs> not they really call us we they call us Werther's original city. I know they call Wilmington the chocolate city. They call us Werther's original. City. Werther's original. <laughs> <laughs> yo, come on, yo, Herman, the board is yours. What you doing with it, man? All right, man. Go Stacey Abrams 300. Stacey Abrams, 300. Miss Abrams also worked with Republicans on criminal justice reforms that reduce prison costs without increasing crime. With that, increase. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ooh, separation. That right there, separation. man. Separation. That that right there is is legislation that I can respect. You know what I mean? Because yes, we need reform on a large scale. You know what I mean? Yeah, we we bigger scale. Yeah, we we definitely need. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that about Stacey Abrams. You know what I mean? If, if mm -hmm. I had known stuff like that, you know, I, she would had probably had my support. You know what I mean? Because that that's the kind of stuff that you got to be able to reach across the board and be like, we need we need to fix this. Yeah, you know, because it's the a only big way things are gonna get done. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, you yeah. got to be able to work with each other to be able to get that stuff done. You know, yeah. instead of saying, you know, I'm not going to vote for it because you said it. Yeah. That's stuff that we need. Yeah. But she talked about it. She talked about it a lot, though, um, you know, especially about her time, uh, I think, in the Senate or, you know, working with her local government or whatever, um, yeah. how she how she did work across the aisle. You know what I'm saying? And, and work with Republicans. It's just that she got put in this box. She got put in this radical box, you know, all. Stacey Abrams trying to be a radical and change, you know, America and stuff like that, you know, yeah. and and it really clouded a lot of the, a lot of the things that she championed. I mean, you know, you know, um, you know, and, and a lot of things that she did, you know. So you, know, yeah, you gotta get past the noise, I mean. man. You gotta get that past the noise in politics. Yeah. Man, listen, just, just man, get past listen, the noise. So many things like they, you just see these politicians. There's so many things that they market and promote, and you just gotta stop and think like. Why y'all market and promote that? Yeah. But something that's super significant, they don't wanna like we didn't like we didn't really get any information on like the cash bails being eliminated in a in a lot of cities. Mm. So in New York, for example, if you are it's most felonies, like most violent felonies, like there's no cash bail so if it's like a murder of course you're going you're gonna have you know you're going to jail you're gonna stay in jail uh mm -hmm. kidnapping rape stuff like that you're gonna stay in jail but like i say you get an aggravated assault charge right mm -hmm. domestic assault you're not gonna you're gonna go to you're gonna you there's no cash bond you're gonna go to jail mm -hmm. you're gonna get the court date and you come home <laughs> you'll come home the, the no next well. day you're not gonna be just sitting around in jail Wait, just sitting in there, yeah. You just sitting yeah, in there, yeah. Somebody, wait, somebody to post people money, yeah. So yeah, wait yeah. for somebody to put fifteen hundred dollars on your books so you can come home mm -hmm. until your court date. Mm -hmm. No, they eliminated that. That's mm -hmm. stuff that yeah. needs to be talked about. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. Great. But the way they market yeah. it and promote it, they make it seem that's like the way they... if someone breaks mm -hmm. in your house, you know, regular burglary. Uh, hey, we can't do nothing to them. They just, you know, they're just going to be booked and they're going to go right back out on the streets. We can't the do that. The way they sell it to people. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, that's, the way yeah. They, that's the way they market it and sell it. But in the, but in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, I, man, work correction, I work corrections for a little bit, right? 
And it was crazy. I was on the elevator one day, you know what I'm saying, taking taking the guys down to go get in rain or whatever. And in the elevator was a guy in there for murder. Chained next, chained up to a guy that missed child support payments. Hmm. They slept in the same block. I'm like, I, and it hit me. I'm like, this is really crazy that they were in the same uniform, the same handcuffs, chained up to each other the same way. He's in here for murdering a girl in the parking lot, and he's in here because he missed some child support payments. Mm -hmm. That is wild to me. You know what I mean? Working there, man, was an eye-opening experience to see what people were in, in there for and how they are housed. You have people in there for the smallest thing in there where somebody just shot a cop in the head and drove around with him in the passenger side because he's high on meth. Mm. You know what I mean? It was just wild when I was like, dang, they in there playing checkers with each other. And all he did was, you know what I'm saying, public intoxication. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, that's yeah that's man. Crazy. That's yeah, that's because that's because most people don't want to be honest about what our prison system or what our justice system is, right? Our criminal justice system is sometimes it's a it's a it's a cash collection, right? So so you right. you 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 charge you you give somebody a ticket simply to to so that they give you cash. That cash then gets converted into you know police whatever police cars or guns or or retirements or something like that. And then when you're talking oh, about the prison system. Like yeah, exactly. And then when you're talking about the prison system, the prison system is the same thing. You put these people in the prison system, well, depending on where they at, you know what I'm saying? They're out here making, you know, they're building, they're building and creating things, man. No joke. When I was in the military. Old neighborhoods. Elmira, New look, York. Well, we yeah. talk about El we talk about Laval, where he's from in Elmira, New York. The whole community is based around the prison. Because before yeah, that man. prison was there. That population of that town was like twelve hundred people. Mm. But after that prison got there, the population of the town now is like twenty five thousand people. And now that now that people. now that the prison can claim claim to be a city, and now you yep. get tax cuts, and now yep. you know what I'm saying? Like it's a whole and like, and, and teachers, those like, those inmates money. are not voters. Those inmates are not yes. voters, but those inmates are counted on the census, and they They're are counted, counted as eligible voters. Exactly. So that's exactly, the, so the town of Elmira, New York gets extra tax money for that. On when they yeah, know there's visiting days, or whether visit, let's say for example, visiting days are Tuesdays and Thursdays. They know people from New York City are going to be traveling up to Elmira or using the highways, using the roads. So what do they do? They align the police up and down those highways and roads and try to get them some speeding tickets. Yeah. What do they do? Collect money they for the city. Homes. Yeah, they build they build hotels and they build lodging there. So when, for, for the days that visiting days, you know, you drove four hours to come see your loved one, stay in a hotel, stay overnight. Stop yeah. go to Waffle House while you're here. Yeah, man. Go to it's a ragged thing on a Waffle House in New York. Ain't no, no <laughs> state they do. Not in the city, they're not. <laughs> we, even got one, we barely got Waffle House here in Maryland. I know, it's a down south thing. <laughs> It's a poverty yeah. thing. That shit is terrible. <laughs> Stop that shit, yo. If I see you post another damn story about some with some damn ham, or so oh, so, oh, so, oh, so, oh, so ribs, rib tips, cornbread. This dude be oh. eating brontosaurus burgers and shit, knowing he wear a four X t shirt and it's tight. That'd be wild, man. You gotta do better, huh? I don't I want you to eat better, yo. Diabetes is gonna come take your foot, and I don't like that for you, B. <laughs> come on, take the board is yours. What are we doing? All right. Uh, I'm gonna get Shirley Chisholm for 200. Oh, I think oh, uh Herm, Herm, you muted yourself, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's cursing, uh, cursing me out for calling her fat. As a congresswoman, she represented New York 12th district, a district centered on. Rapper Stiver's son, son, the live. I, I got it right. Represented right BK first. to the fullest. You know what what said? The no, I said Biggie. Yeah. That's all you, you said. Did. Biggie. You didn't say. You didn't say Rapper Stiver's son. That, 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 that is who. That is what that is. That is what that is. You just said the artist. You just said the artist. Yeah. Everybody the knows Brooklyn is Biggie. Man. Everybody you know that. Say, you had to say Rapper Stiver's son. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Yeah, yeah. Retire. 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 
Ty, going into this, <laughs> I want to thank both of you gentlemen for pulling up. I want to thank you both of you gentlemen for being yeah, entertaining. Yeah, the man. stories have been awesome. The conversation has been great. Um, again, shout out your uh, your podcast one more, one more time. Tay, tell us where to find it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Podcast, man. You can find us on YouTube. Um, you can also find us on Facebook. Um, you know, uh, we try to get a show in there every week, you know, uh, when we can, uh, we try to, you know, just, just have something relevant to talk about, but you, we, you know, we're on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Podcast and on YouTube. All right. What you got going on? Hey, well, let me, I'm, I want, I need to talk about the Yam saying podcast real quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. If, if you want, if you want to hear, you know, deep conversation about the culture, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? About what's going on with black people and black communities, you know, what laws mm-hmm. are getting passed and things like that. You got to watch his podcast. You got to listen to it. Um, okay. Just in this show alone with the background he had on these people, that comes from a genuine place, you know what I'm saying, of somebody who cares. So yeah. when you watch that show, you know, that with him and his brother on it, you're, you're going to get, you know, a real show with real information, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of passion behind it. Check out that pod. If you care about what's going on with black people, you know, what's going on with the culture today, check them out. You know what I'm saying? You won't be disappointed. Yeah, but for us, you, man, I, yeah. I trust, I trust Tay, yo. I, just, I mean, I just met Tay, but yeah. I trust him because he's dark skinned with a beard. <laughs> and he lives in Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah. And he's got yeah, a he's yeah. got a half inch vert just like you got. So it's all good. Hey, bro. Look. You know what I mean? If I got a half inch vertical. If I got a half inch vertical, you can't jump over a sheet of paper. <laughs> <laughs> if I got a half inch, that's what you got. But Jesse, right. so I'm, I'm a part of the Lions Den with Seth Podcast, uh, where we deal with professional development, leadership, and growth. We we always have a, a large, a wide uh, list of guests that come on. You yeah. know, from sometimes celebrities, political figures, you know, or business owners. What we try to do is get people in front of the audience to where you might learn something, you know, about life that'll help you out. Um, if you think that you want to be a guest on our show, hit us up, hit me up, and let me know um, what you would like to talk about, and we'll talk about you coming on. Uh, Lions Den with Seth Podcast. You can check us out on Facebook. It's our main platform, but we are on all streaming platforms. Yeah, man. One of my favorite episodes when y'all had Project Pat on there come up there and talk about he loved Jesus. I was like, man, what? we call we call him. <laughs> wait, you know, wait. We we, we, yeah, we yeah. call we call him we call him Pentecostal cat Pat in the uh, in the backstage. <laughs> we said we said we thought we was getting Project Pat. We got Pentecostal Pat. Yeah, man, he cracked up laughing Pat, about that, yo. man. Yo. Yo. <laughs> wow, we he wasn't was. expecting he... him to do a show like that. We didn't know what he's gonna come on and talk about. Mm. And that it just wild, that all yo. just came out. Yo, he was sitting there with the, and he had a, and he had his phone like he was holding it like this. Hey, yeah, man, I'm with this. <laughs> what? Project, what? Hey, the Project whole time Pat. I was Easy. talking to him on the phone, I was like, "Is this? I'm really talking to Project Pat?" Because we was texting, he would never pick up the phone. I was like, "Man, this dude ain't coming on the show for real." And mm. he popped up and did it for free for us. I was like, "Dang, okay." That's, that's, that's dope, crazy, man. That's dope. We really had Project Pat on there, loving Jesus. Mm. Like, they deliver. <laughs> These do they deliver content? I gotta catch up. Yeah. You know, man, we go do. I had to go get in my content bag. I had to go do a hundred push-ups and a hundred squats real quick. Yo. I was like, These guys. Mm-hmm. last question. Let's get it. Condi Rice for one hundred, an American diplomat and political scientist who is the current director of uh, uh, the Hoover Hoover Institute, Stanford University. Yeah, the Cardinals. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Oh, I definitely say that way cooler than Gianna said. Hey, hey, hey good Edgar. job, Who? Hey. Yeah. Wow, why are you always losing? Winning, I winning, you. winning like I winning like I used to do in Alaska, dog. And you're talking about stepping on the court. Hey, the right person won this game tonight, man. Yeah. It, is, it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like that for you, yo. I, was, you know? I used to drag you on the basketball court. I'll no, you did you in jeopardy. You, de- you never <laughs> dragged me nowhere, man. Dude, I used to drag you. How can how can you drag? I, and me I anywhere? hate that you say you dunked on me when no one's I ever did. seen you dunk. I did. did what you mean? Ever, say, have you ever man, I was always dunk? man. Yes, man. they have seen me dunk. 
I seen her try a few times, man. <laughs> and I, I ain't successful for that. I almost threw yeah, my camera right. across the living you know, room, man. Because like, yeah, the man. thing is, boy, like, hey, I swear to God, hey, boy, if you get in front of man. a camera and, and get remixed memories, you work. <laughs> you got real CTE, bro. I don't you think you know what a rim looks like from above. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time you touched the rim. This was back when you had hit. You had. I got a picture curly. of me dunking in my yearbook right now. I, you know what, what I'm saying? Yearbook? So. What my school book? yearbook. Not in, in Clarksville? In high school? Yeah. Nah, bro. Where was I at? <laughs> uh, you was already gone by then. I was already gone. <laughs> I was a senior. Yeah, you was already in the Army. I ain't funny. <laughs> when I see, last time I seen you, you was still 5'11". No, I'm six foot tall. Man, it's good plan, man. <laughs> hey. You 5'11 the- now because you put on that weight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and that CTE got your back hunt. Your spine is curved oh, a little bit. No. The same. Now, I want to thank you, and I appreciate you for coming up and pulling up on the show, man. I always want to thank you for all your support. You always, you always support me. Um, even the uh, conversation we had the other day, where I got to vent to you about my my situation and all that stuff. Yeah. I appreciate you. You've always been a homie. You're my brother, you. man. My brother, man. I truly love you. Appreciate you. All you do, man. Tay, thank you for pulling up. Uh, you've been hey, great. Thank you, man. Um. Yeah, just chopping it up for you with you real quick before the show started, yo. I can tell um I'm definitely gonna enjoy your your content and uh yeah, look for yeah. me to be in those comments, yo. yo. I enjoy oh yeah, content. yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, you gotta yeah, get Tay on I four, man. You gotta get Tay on I yeah. four one day. I'm with it. Let and me, have that let conversation with him. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. yeah. We, gotta get some, we get some topics. Let's chop it up, yo. Oh yeah, yeah, man. We always down, man. I appreciate you uh, having us on having me on, man. It was fun, man. Real yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, this is Black History Every Day. We out of here. Thank y'all. You.